Concerning the California San Andreas fault lines, experts warned that the big one is expected to strike the Bay Area by 2030. So that's not too far off. And the big one, we're talking about a huge earthquake. Experts have warned the Bay Area is long overdue an earthquake, the likes of which have not been seen in decades. Labeled the big one by wary seismologists, the catastrophic event is likely to strike within the next seven years and could spell doom for residents of the town of Alameda, according to a report from the United States Geological Survey, USGS. Mail Online reports, the small city was once a peninsula connected to Oakland by a small landmass that more than 100 years ago was dredged out to lengthen a shipping strait, and since then the town has existed as an island while growing exponentially in size over the past century thanks to the addition of hundreds of acres of reclaimed land. But the reclamation effort took place in the early 1900s, leading scientists for years uh, implore the uh, town of roughly 76,000 to reanalyze its earthquake readiness. And speaking to a Bay Area paper, the director of earthquake sciences for USGS said the city is at risk of collapsing in on itself when an earthquake does everything eventually strike, with Alameda poised to bear the brunt of the disaster. With uh, with Phil, it's a little like a house of cards. They're talking about landfill. Christine Goulet of the USGS told Mercury News Alameda's earthquake readiness, saying that citizens could see their community coming tumbling down before 2030 if nothing is done. Goulet has a PhD in civil engineering from UCLA and most uh, said most of the six mile wide landmass is at risk of liquefaction. It's a phenomenon that occurs when serious shaking that causes waterlogged soil to lose its strength and behave like a liquid. She further warned that the wet marshland pumped from the bottom of San Francisco Bay in the early part of the previous century was likely not packed down properly, leading to more cause for concern. And she said in the process, what happens is they dredge material from nearby sea or bay, which as a, has a mix of clay and silt, and then they just put that in without compacting it appropriately. Goulet added that despite this less than ideal positioning, the lion's share of the small town is set outside the original landmass with dozens of towering apartments lining the coast, all well beyond the outskirts of its natural shoreline. Worsening the town's earthquake redness, she said, is that fact it only uh, has five points of entry, four of them being drow bridges that are almost always raised, leaving extremely limited options for potential evacuees. If you're trying to leave the island in a hurry, the most sensible option would be its underground tube, a three and a half mile underwater tunnel to Oakland. However, in the event of an earthquake, such a passage is far from safe and would likely be overrun if and when the big one hits. The big one refers to an earthquake of magnitude 6.7 or larger. In Alameda, only a small portion of the isle is set on sound rock, with the rest being built on soft, spongy clay that has not been reassessed in more than 100 years. This has led to questions about the city's structural integrity, concerning that for decade, concerns that for decades have gone unheeded. The city is also located a stone's throw from the Hayward Fault, the primary concern for experts when considering the likelihood of the San Francisco earthquake. Despite repeated warnings from experts such as herself, Goulet said officials have not addressed the town's precarious positioning. This is by Neam Harris on The People's Voice. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.